Struggling small businesses in western New York hope that more money from the federal government will be enough to help them hang on until the economy is allowed to reopen. But there's also real concern whether it will be enough to save them. More from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Early this month, Congress approved $349 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program, granting small businesses funds for up to eight weeks of expenses, which they don't even have to pay back if they use 75% of it to keep paying employees. But within two weeks, the money was gone. The proprietor of the Howling Rooster Restaurant in Kenmore was among those who missed out. Basically, it was like a Dear John letter. Sorry, we're out of money. You didn't make the cut. Yesterday, Congress approved another $300 billion, and indications are that might not last long either. The way the federal government set the program up is that to apply for it, you go to your bank. And I will tell you, the larger regional banks already have people in line. So they can't take more applications. They already have completed more applications than they got funding for in the first round. According to a source, within four hours of reopening the process when the latest bill passed yesterday, M&T Bank had to pause it due to high demand. A bank spokesperson confirms that despite approving more than 4,000 loans in western New York worth more than $800 million, they still had 1,600 round one applicants who they couldn't process before the money gave out, and they're not alone. The J.P. Morgan Chase had $40 billion worth of applications and were only able to give away $14 billion. And that kind of ratio is true of all the other banks in town. Meanwhile, there have been lawsuits filed accusing larger banks of favoring the applications of their larger customers first, leaving the smallest of businesses to languish. Due to that, this latest round of the program directed about $70 billion to smaller banks and credit unions. Well, for some people who, who don't have a commercial banking relationship or maybe they, they, do their uh, financial transactions through a credit union, they can now go about getting those SBA loans. They hope. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.